Good evening everybody, Flack is back. It is Tugboat time officially. Last week I released a video about the Tugboat update that's about to drop and you guys fired off 500,000 questions at me. In this video I'm going to answer some of your best questions from my previous video. Like, can you put down shotgun traps? What does it take to destroy it? What happens once you destroy it? And so much more. I do apologize for taking so long to make this follow up, but Red Bull South Africa invited me to the Kumite finals and it was kind of bonkers. <laughs> Now, let's answer some of those questions for you. Firstly, where is the tugboats located? And as most of you guys know, they are located in the harbour. There will be one in each harbour. For the harbour with the recycler located over here, you will find it over here. And for the other harbour, you will find it located over here. The tugboats are only going to be spawning at the harbour, so make sure you get there as quickly as possible to claim your new floating home. Now, if you haven't watched last week's video, be sure to stop this video immediately and click on the link in the video description below so you can see what you can and what you can't place. I did do a video showing how many things you can do and can't do, but unfortunately, I was a little bit excited at the time. It's staggering to even think about. <gasps> oh my God. And I missed a couple of obvious things. You guys fired those questions at me and I'm answering them today. The most prevalent question, of course, was can you place down shotgun traps? Now, that would automatically be a bad idea because of building privilege. You cannot place down a TC like I mentioned in the previous video. Turns out they fixed the building privilege problem. So you can't place down a TC, that's fine. But what you can do is go up to the captain's cabin, mount the controls, and you will see this new option pop up here, building privilege. Once you activate it, you will get a building privilege around the boat so that nobody can grief you or pick up your boxes. The radius itself is not very wide, it's about 1 meter wider than the boat's diameter, so it's not very big, but that's all you need. So now you have building privilege, can you put down shotgun traps? No. Unfortunately, you cannot put down shotgun traps, you cannot put down flame turrets, and you cannot put down SAM launchers. But wait a minute, Flack, didn't you have a SAM launcher in your thumbnail? Yes, I did. That's called clickbait. You fucking scumbag. But there have been videos surfacing of people placing turrets on the boat. Well, in Becca Something's video, one of my close friends, she placed down a bunch of turrets. And when you power the ship on, it looks like the turrets turned on. However, when I experimented, I noticed that Facepunch have unfortunately removed the turret functionality so you can no longer place down turrets. That is a little bit upsetting. So no traps, no shotgun traps, no turrets, no nothing. And that's a bit of a doozy. But not to worry, the boat is still really freaking cool. It's lovely to sail it. I even noticed you could probably hop off the tugboat directly onto cargo ship to take it. However, I was man alone on this test server, so steering it and jumping onto the boat was quite hard but it is definitely possible with a team of pros. Can you damage this bad boy? Ooh, yes you can. You can damage this bad boy real good. I've got explosive ammo in my AK and I'm gonna fire an entire clip of explosive ammo into this boat to see how much damage it does. I'm gonna pull up combat log. One explosive ammo clip for 120 damage of 3000. Ooh. Okay, let's repair it. Once repairing it, I noticed it uses a fraction of wood and metal frags and I'm pretty sure that that is not going to be the final amount. I just repaired a huge chunk of this boat at nearly no cost. Next, let's try a Molotov. Okay, the Molotov isn't showing up in combat log, so what I'm going to do is just give this boat a little tap with a stone hatchet. Pull up combat log. A whopping 6 damage of 3000. Next, let's try the HV rockets. The HV rockets are of course designed to take out vehicles. Mm, that is about 270. Next, let's try an actual rocket, a big boy rocket. And completely miss. Next, let's try a big boy rocket. Oh, 194 damage. What? That does less damage than an actual HV rocket. So the avid boys, if you want to take out the tugboat using rockets, make sure you use the cheaper HV rockets and not the more expensive big boy rockets. But what about submarines? Somebody asked in the comment section 20 times. I tell you what though, submarine season is here, baby. I'm gonna fire a torpedo at the tugboat. Ooh, 260 damage. Okay, let's do a little calculation here. 3000 damage divided by 264. So you'd only need 12 torpedoes to sink the tugboat. Okay, let's repair it up quickly. Put in 12 torpedoes, let's make it 13. 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, it's sinking. That is very impressive, considering the fact the torpedoes are so cheap. 
Unfortunately, torpedoes cost a lot of scrap to research because it's located all the way down here, but you don't have to do that. Just head to a fishing village, speak to the homeless man, buy two torpedoes off him for 75 scrap, take those torpedoes to a research table, research them for 75 scrap, and you'll notice the cost of a torpedo is one metal pipe and 30 gunpowder. Now, when you craft a torpedo, you craft three, not one meaning 120 gunpowder and four metal pipes equals one sunk tugboat. But what actually happens once you sink the boat? Does all the loot float to the top? No, it doesn't. It turns out that the boat slowly sinks to the ocean floor and your entire floating base stays intact, giving you an opportunity to fight over the remains if somebody sinks your boat. All the boxes are still lootable and fire even works underwater. I think that is a very cool feature. It'll make fighting for the remains of your boat very interesting and I love what they did with it. Very cool face punch. Someone also asked me, can you land a helicopter on the tugboat? And you're in luck, because I'm a master pilot. And just to make it interesting, I'm going to land on a moving boat. Just have to match my momentum. Here we go. Now you guys are probably horrified thinking, damn Flack, you really know how to fly. And you know what? You're right. I can fly the shit out of a mini. Like and subscribe to support the veterans that have died in their minis. And there's the new ferry terminal and it's going to serve as a gateway to do the server hopping feature that they're adding in the future. The idea is, is that you hop on a ferry in this area over here and then you sail off to another server only with the loot that you can carry on your back. A very cool feature. I love it. I can't wait for more, but I'm not going to talk much about it. It's very nicely decorated. It's got very cool things. There's a recycler. There's a little car ramp. It's a decent point of interest. It even has access to the train station that doesn't completely work. And it has this rope jump that I can completely nail first time every time. First try. Later today they are releasing the Abyss skin pack which is pretty cool, it's a DLC. It has three hazmat suits, all three of them look a little bit different. We have this one over here with double tank on the back. This one over here with a single tank on the back, although I kind of like the helmet. And unfortunately this monstrosity, which is a pity because I really really like the rebreather system on the back. It's animated and cool but the helmet looks like shit. Face Punch, if any of the staff are watching this video, could you guys potentially add our diving accessories to the mix? What I mean by that is, can we add flippers and diving tanks to our skin and make sure that the skin doesn't unequip? I feel like it's very not cool to be able to use such a cool diving skin underwater. Please comment below. Alistair. The DLC also comes with this retro looking brass antique lantern torch. It's got nice engraving. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, come on. Look at it. It's phenomenal. Now, of course, people are going to complain and say that the normal torch doesn't burn underwater and the new Abyss torch does burn underwater and that is somehow paid to win. But I can assure you the miner's hat also works underwater and everyone has the miner's hat. It is cool. I love the look of the torch. It gives off the exact same amount of light as a traditional torch and I love the sound effects. There's also a new barnacle covered hatchet that is dripping with water. Very nice indeed. As well as this metal pickaxe which looks like an anchor full of barnacles. It's kind of nuts. And of course, the AK skin. It's got an AK skin. And, well, I mean, you know, I never get an AK anyway, do I? And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. To my beautiful darling patrons, thank you for your ongoing support. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. As always, flack out.